The red colors fill the room, symbolizing the national colors of the People's Republic of China. Chinese community gathered at this event in Port Moresby last Thursday, graced with the presence of Ambassador Zhu Bing and his wife. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill, Foreign Affairs and Trade Minister Rimbing Pato were among a good number of cabinet ministers, heads of other missions and statutory organizations who have attended the event. The development of China is an opportunity for the whole world. The Chinese people welcome friends all over the world to get a free ride of China's rapid trend of growth. The celebration was also significant as it also highlighted the significance of the PNG China relations. The presence of Prime Minister Peter O'Neill and his ministers was a show of appreciation and respect to the People's Republic of China for its continued support and assistance in terms of developments to PNG. Since the establishment of the diplomatic relations 41 years ago, we have maintained some progress in our bilateral relations. In November 2014, during a meeting between Chinese President Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Peter O'Neill, China and Papua New Guinea established the strategic partnership featuring mutual respect and common development. Ambassador Bing said China has invested a lot in Papua New Guinea. In fact, it is the second largest trading partner and investment destination in the Pacific region. In 2016, the bilateral trade volume reached 2.28 billion US dollars and with PNG side enjoying a surplus. By the end of last year, China's direct investment in this country reached 1.9 billion US dollars and there are more than 40 Chinese companies operating in this country, creating over 7,300 jobs for the local people and, and paying a lot of tax revenue and, con and contributing to the economic growth and social progress of Papua New Guinea. Chinese assistance to PNG is not only limited to trade and investment, and PNG has also benefited in terms of cooperation in education, health, and people-to-people -people link. Every year, China provides 30 government scholarships to PNG students to study in China. And up to now, over 300 PNG students have gone to China under such scholarships. In the past 14 years, China has sent eight medical teams to PNG, providing medical treatment to nearly 1,000, 100,000 patients and training courses to nearly 10,000 medical personnel. The general public is the biggest beneficiaries from the ever-deepening of practical cooperation between China and Papua New Guinea. With the biggest economy in the world, Ambassador being said, 2017 is an important year of the People's Republic of China as it continues to grow and ready to help other countries including Papua New Guinea. One of its focus is to assist PNG host the APEC Leaders Summit in Port Mosby in November next year. China attaches great importance to its relations with Papua New Guinea. A new development opportunity is now facing with us. We are ready to work together with Papua New Guinea to, to strengthen dialogue, communication and cooperation in various areas to make further progress in our relations. On behalf of the government and the people of Papua New Guinea, and on behalf of our Prime Minister, of course I extend a warm and sincere congratulations to the government and the People's Republic of China on this very special occasion. Foreign Affairs and Trade Minister Rimbing Pato, while acknowledging the government and the people of the Republic of China, spoke highly of the 41 years relations which is growing from strength to strength. Papua New Guinea's position has always been 
and consistent in being the application of the One China policy over the last 41 years. And this position will be maintained into the future. In fact, I'm going to add that this is the core, the most fundamental aspect of the relationship between Papua New Guinea and the People's Republic of China. That's the core of our bilateral uh, relationship. Mr. Pato said the PNG government is grateful. However, there are areas that need to be strengthened to see better progress in future. Of course, of the many uh, countries that have invested in Papua New Guinea, uh, the People's Republic of China was one of the founding investors and founding purchases of PNG's LNG gas, yes, for which we are deeply grateful. Whilst we continue uh, support, while we acknowledge China's continued support uh, towards uh, PNG's development aspirations, there are outstanding issues that we need to address together to deepen this relationship. And of course, His Excellency has addressed one of them, and that is the need for greater connectivity and cooperation in trade and investment. And there's no reason why Papua New Guinea and the People's Republic of China, whose relationship goes back from the merchants who came here more than 200 years ago into developing a free trade agreement. Because that is the way the world is moving at the moment. So I hope that when the Prime Minister makes a state visit to China, uh, we will have had our technical people in the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade uh, with their counterparts in the People's Republic of China who have put together a feasibility study, looked at the upside and the downsides of putting together what's a feasible proposition for a future free trade investment agreement with one of our greatest partners, the People's Republic of uh, China. Papua New Guinea's most important international event is the APEC Leaders' Summit, and Mr. Pato, on behalf of the government of PNG, welcomed Chinese President to PNG. The continued support from China puts Papua New Guinea in a better position with its growth. Both countries continue to forge a long-lasting relation with focus to increase free trade, investment and people-to-people -people link in future.